I'm certainly loving the rain, but I think I'm starting to grow gills here. We're about to see some sunshine, though, not too terribly far away. Early next week, we'll get the sun back in the forecast for us. Live look from our Alan Samuels Skyline Weather Camera in Waco. It's wet in McLennan County as well. The rain keeps coming on down. It looks like it's going to be a wet night for us tonight. 34 was the morning low, 40 the afternoon high. We added another eight hundredths of an inch of rain officially in the airport rain gauge. Rainfall total is being reported by our weather watchers as much as half an inch of rain in Mejia at the Confederate Reunion grounds on thanks to April Perolini for her report. Almost an inch and a quarter in the Waco area in Hewitt. Uh, 1.20 at uh, Kurt Krakowian's place. And look at this. Three and a half inches of rain out west in Lamp Passes and our gratitude to Joe Spivey for her report. Most of the heavy rains we saw were out across our western counties like Lamp Passes and Mills and on up towards Hamilton and Comanche. Lake Whitney got an inch and a quarter today, an inch and two hundredths in Centerville, a little better than an inch in Crawford. Marlin reporting nine tenths of an inch of rain and in McGregor we saw seven tenths of an inch of rain and it's still coming down and it seems to be concentrated right along Interstate 35 right now. We're seeing moderate to heavy rain but no severe weather going on. I'm not getting any reports of any hail out of this stuff, but some moderate to heavy rain falling all the way back over into portions of Hill County right now. 39 in Meridian, 40 in Waco, 39 in Temple, 40 in Colleen, 41 in Georgetown, her near at 42 with partly cloudy skies, 44 in rain showers in and around Centerville right now. At the airport, we're looking at cloudy skies, 40 light rain showers in the area, winds out of the northwest at three miles an hour. Tonight's forecast is for more drizzle and fall, cloudy and a 90% chance of additional rain with temperature by morning down around 40 winds will be out of the north 10 to 15 miles an hour as we start the day decreasing a bit out of the north northeast around five miles an hour cloudy skies 90 percent chances of additional rain in the forecast for us on friday with an additional one inch of rain a good possibility on average in our rain gauges across central texas high gets up to around 59 as we look through the day tomorrow and into saturday rainfall totals in addition to what we've already got, could be in the neighborhood of better than an inch and a half in Waco, an inch and a quarter for Temple, and a little better than an inch for Colleen, a good possibility. Now, the drought monitor is issued on Thursday. The data is collected all week long till Tuesday afternoon, and then this is what is released on Thursday. So, this does not show the benefit of the rains that we've had over the last couple of days. We will have to wait until next week to get those benefits. Burn bands relaxed in a lot of spots, but we're still tracking a couple of burn bands across the area. So be mindful. Check with your local law enforcement before you do any outdoor burning. Here's your Channel 6 7-day forecast where your weekend is always in view. Thunder and rain and light north winds tomorrow. 90% chances you'll see more rain where you are. 40 for a low, 59 the afternoon high. We're going to carry rain showers into the picture on Saturday as well. And Saturday, we might see some strong storms around the area. Look at this. The National Severe Storms Forecast Center puts us at a marginal risk of severe weather right along the I-35 corridor and back over into Louisiana where your rain chances start getting much better as you head towards uh, the Middle Tennessee Valley and portions of the Deep South. All right, Andy, thank you very much. All right.